I've gotten this question a lot and I promise y'all I have not been ignoring it. It's just really difficult to answer, but I'm gonna do my best. So um, at the end of the day, the question is, how am I so consistent with my shots when I am moving my bow hand as I release the arrow? And the answer is twofold. First, keep in mind that I'm an instinctive shooter. Um, I'm fully self-taught. Everything I do, I learned from books and Amazon, Amazon, books and YouTube, and just trial and error. Um, with that, I very much follow the textbook style in the beginning. So, you know, shoulder part, holding the bow up, anchor point like I still do. Um, everything was textbook style until I got the rhythm of it. And at that point, I started adapting. When I say adapting, what felt better? What felt more natural for me? What was becoming more instinctive? Thus, instinctive archery at its core is what I follow. The second part of my answer is so much harder to explain. I'm actually not dropping it quite like you think. I am dropping the bow, but not quite like you think. So I have stood out here for the past 30 minutes trying to figure out how to explain part two. Uh, I think I have a good analogy. So when you're shooting a slingshot, very basic level, you're holding the base of the slingshot in one hand, you're pulling it back, and then you're releasing. And the rubber that's holding the target, little pellet, is gonna fling forward. And you can hold that slingshot base as much as you, tight as you want, but the momentum is going to cause your hand and the wooden slingshot or whatever slingshot thing you're holding to move a little bit. It's just basic science. So for me, taking that to archery, I am actually hold. there's a split second where when I release, I, my whole focus is the alignment between my bow hand, my back, my anchor point, the arrow, and when I release, my body is balanced enough that yes, I aim high and I start dropping the bow, but when I release, there is a push. I push. You're here. holding your bow, you don't want to grasp it, grasp it, you want to gently grip it, and the pressure right here as you release is going to naturally cause your bow to continue to fall. And for me, I aim high and then I go low and shoot because that's just instinctive archery at its core. I know based on where the target is and where I'm standing, roughly when I need to release. I, I've done it enough that it's just, if I try to hold the bow up more and like, you know, hold it, what is it, three seconds and then release, I started overthinking it. I found that it's just not my style. I can't, I can't stand there, hold it, focus, It's not gonna, it doesn't work for me. Um, so hopefully that answered all y'all's questions. And yeah, I'm gonna go do some drills now so you guys can kind of see. I'll try to get close up on this bow hand. So hopefully y'all guys have a better idea. But yeah, give me two seconds. I'm gonna need that. Watch me get a Robin Hood without a GoPro. So in the clip, I sped up some parts, slowed down some to hopefully share with y'all exactly kind of that split second moment that I was trying to explain earlier. Um, but yeah, I just took the foundation's fundamentals, which are critical if you're a new archer or, you know, form, focus on form right now. Fundamentals are key. It's only at the point where it's literally second nature that I would encourage you to consider looking into more of what feels right, what feels best, what feels natural. And yeah, here's the grouping. Is it the best grouping in the entire world? No. But honestly, I'm glad because, you know, Robin Hood's as cool as they are. Arrows are expensive, y'all. But yeah, happy Friday.